Okay, so we were doing a problem about a drive. And the drive, here's my car, was around Bellingham. And the drive was from 80 miles south of Bellingham to 40 miles north of Bellingham. And let's choose to make the number line zero at Bellingham. Negative 80 miles is the initial position and positive 40 miles is the ending position. And we were told that the car is driving at 60 miles per hour. So the first question uh, was about the position, uh, or rather the time. And so we said that the time is equal to, the time interval is equal to the displacement divided by the speed. And displacement is x final minus x initial divided by speed, which was 40 miles minus negative 80 miles divided by 60 miles per hour. So I'll just do that math. I get 120 miles divided by 60 miles per hour. I see that the miles cancel. And what I'm left is, is two hours. To graph it, I'm going to keep my graph consistent with the number line that I chose. And I'm going to put x on the vertical. And the time axis is going to be on the horizontal. So we start at negative 80 miles. And we go to positive 40 miles. And I'm going to choose, because I can make that choice, to start at time equals zero, and I will end up then at 40 miles at time equals two hours. So what we notice here is that speed is the change in the position, the displacement divided by the time interval, which is also the slope of this line. And then the question uh, asked about the last 10 minutes, I actually could have asked about any 10 minutes. So over any time interval, we can find that the position, delta x, is, we'll solve that equation. So that's v delta t. So we have 60 miles per hour. Now here's the tricky part. Because it was 10 minutes, I know I need to do a unit conversion. So this may not, might not be the unit conversion you did. You might have moved it all into meters and seconds or whatever, and that's totally fine. Um, but I'm going to choose that 10 minutes, um, so where this delta t is equal to 10 minutes, I'm going to write that instead as 1 sixth of an hour. The hours cancel, and let's see, I'm left with 10 miles. And that's the answer. So a pretty easy problem to start with, but a way to think about starting to set up these problems using graphics and diagrams and math. Okay, stay tuned.